Hey YouTube, I'm Lucky and we're going to go over a series of more intermediate strategies and help and advice for Trials of Osiris. This week's map is Convergence and so I'm going to go over what I'm calling opening strategies. And opening strategy is really important to have when you're playing Trials. Um, it ensures that you know where you're going, where your teammates are going. So the first strategy we're going to call, we're just going to call it the Alpha Strat. When you spawn in on the red side here, obviously hopefully you've gone over the call out video. You're going to push up here. Go through this route. This is the fastest route you can go. I'm obviously tight skating. And if you're a sniper, you're going to slide in this spot right here. Someone will be sniping there, right there. That would be the alpha strat. If you're a shotgunner, you're not going to slide that, obviously. You're going to run with your shotgun or your primary out, preferably. <laughs> Don't run with your shotgun at the very start. But you're going to run around with your shotgun and come around to this area here. You've got some good primary angle lanes. Try not to cross over the bridge. You don't want to be overly aggressive. You want to be in an area where you can team shoot with your, you know, preferably your primary. Right now I have a, a, a sniper and a shotgun on to demonstrate the different, um, you know, builds that you're going to have, the team chemistry you're going to have, where you're going to have one sniper on your team and two shotguns, preferably. Sometimes two snipers, one shotgunner. That tends to be the best, you know, sort of team chemistry within the game. I got Dwayne here on my team. And so... That is going to be the alpha strat. And as you get one kill with it, whether it's a sniper getting a kill at the start or whether it's the guys with shotguns, you're going to simply just push up and collapse on that body. So I'm going to capture the overtime here. It's also good to keep in mind where the overtime is. If you do have to play a resident sleeper game or a super slow game, you're going to want to be right here where the overtime is. Capture that bad boy. So now I'll go over the alpha strat on the other side. And I'll undeafen these guys. So... If you guys would peek the snipe lane on the like main snipe lane, that would be good. So you spawn up. Obviously, depending upon your class, if you have Hunter, you're going to move a lot faster. Or if you have Warlock, you can fly like insane. Um, but I'm tight skating, so I actually move pretty fast. And this is like typical sniper lanes right around here. See people peek that. Make sure you keep in mind where head level is. You know, you can come here in a private match and know exactly where head level is. So that way when people aim, you can get them. If they slide, you know, you have to adjust. But... And then shotgunners obviously don't really want to peek that lane. You're going to have your primary out around here. Hand cannon, odd rifle, whatever it may be. This is going to be your main strategy. This is the alpha strategy. And the next one is called the ape strategy. So now we got the ape strat. These are the two main strategies for this map. This map has kind of just two main lanes. So it's like there's not a ton of different variety of strategies. Um, so for the ape strat, we're going to cut a hard right here on the red side. And even though it's the ape strat, it still is really good for sniping. You know, you'll come through here, you'll slide through here, and you can snipe someone. It peaks right here. Or if obviously if you're a shotgunner, your goal is to come up here. And in this strategy, you actually do want to cross over the 50% mark because you're trying to run them down with the shotgun. Usually when people are standing like right here, like if Dwayne would stand right here for a second. Like if I'm Titan skating really fast and I'm hitting every like jump, I'll come around this corner right here and I can see my radar ping from, from Dwayne if he was an enemy, but he's not. That's okay though. And then I'll just slide right here, and I can usually shotgun melee them right here. So this is the ultimate ape strat. I'll often do this strat, but I get a little bit tired of it because sometimes they can back that a little bit and, and wreck you with that. So that's the ape strat for this side. I'll show the ape strat on the other side. Uh-oh. Wayne disconnected. Wayne internet. Wayne game crash. All right, so now I'm going to show it on this side. You spawn in here. The ape strat, if you call that out to your team, if you guys watch this video or, you know, if you want to have, like, actual callouts for where you guys go, it's smart to do. Come through here, slide here. You've got sniper lanes right here. Boom, boom. And then, obviously, if you have one sniper on your team or two, and then the shotgunners come up here. And then you can see the radar right there. You see how they're right around the corner there? Yeah, they're right. If I were to be firing at these guys, they were, that's exactly where they're going to be. You can read the radar really well. Like, okay, right here, I probably wouldn't want a shotgun because I'll, I'll probably fall short a little bit. But if I can, if they're a little bit on the stairs more, like if they're around the corner on the stairs more, then I might come through here and get them in time. So um, you can always lead with a grenade too; it works well. I'll, sometimes I'll come up this corner, throw a grenade there, and I'll back them down the stairs a little bit, and I'll kill them. So those are the two main opening strategies that I utilize when I'm doing carries, when I'm playing with friends, running stacked, whatever it may be. We got the alpha strat and the ape strat. Hopefully that helps you out, you and your team out. Um, I definitely try not to split up. Like, if you were to send two on the ape strat and one on the alpha strat, that could be good because you could have someone sniping them off radar, which isn't bad. But at the same time, if this person, the person that's over here, while two people are in the waterfall, gets killed, that person's body is not going to get recovered. Uh, some warlocks I even saw were, like, flying out of the map back here. 
you know, Warlocks can fly way off the map out here, which is really cool to snipe off radar. Sniping off radar is super strong. I just don't recommend it a ton because when someone dies way, way far away from their other two teammates, usually you don't recover that body, usually you don't win that round. Um, it's very hard to get them back because people will, once a body goes down, that body becomes sort of territory control and people try to keep that. So that way they have the numbers against you have 3v2. So keep that in mind and hope that helps you. Make sure to subscribe if you want more content like this. And I'll see you in the next one. Good luck going flawless in trials.